We actually have a Neftifus sprite deck. Didn't think I would say those words anytime soon. We have a Valence deck that performed relatively well. And good old Stun back at it again. Alright, to the 30% of you that have not smashed the F11 crap out of that subscribe button, smash it so you guys don't miss out on more awesome content. So, we are going to be looking at a Trickstar sprite, uh, Neftifus infinite resource charging telekinetic cell deck yeah there's a lot of moving pieces in this deck and i actually think that this is kind of impressive to see that you know we're we got the chance to go through here and make this work and i also see that we are playing fallen of argios as well okay so we have triple copies of ash blossom and joyce frame one fallen of argios uh two gale dogger for the resource well we have one uh matriarch triple copies of maxi one Nimble Anger or triple of your Nimble Beaver. We have one copy of the Noble Knight's Spear Holder. Triple copies of Sprite Blue. One Sprite Carrot with one Sprite Jet. We have triple copies of Sprite Red. One Lily Bell. One Mandrake. One Conductor of Neftifus. One Ben 10. And we have one Devotee of Neftifus. And then we have two Call by the Grave. Your one Cross Out Designator. One Foolish Bro. Two Pot of Prosperity. One Rebirth of Neftifus. One Starter. One Charging Cell. And then we have triple copies of Infinite and Permanence. And then we have one Black Cat Bat. Uh, we have one copy of Sprint with the one Elf, two Elf, one Rapodacus, one IAP with one Ninja Shadow Mosquito, one Mannequin Cat, two copies of Gigantic Sprite, one Downer Magician, one Zeus, one Omega, and two copies of Herald of the Arc Light here. Wrapping up your take for Neftifus good stuff. And I will say, it is actually very refreshing to see that, you know, we're able to take advantage of this sub-ritual engine and actually get the chance to do something pretty cool. Next up here, we have Valence. Now, I love getting the chance to see this deck actually working out of the OCG. I will almost say that it has been very impressive just to see what players are kind of bringing to the table out here in terms of variation. Now, we are also playing the Super Heavy Samurai scales. As I've said in a lot of these videos, these scales absolutely are what is making this deck have a chance to shine out here. And it is definitely turning a lot of people's heads out here that, you know, you see these scales just set up these free monsters, and your opponent's like, well, what am I supposed to do about this? Well, the answer is not a lot. Uh, creating such a generic universal pendulum scales was just an inevitability, I feel like, at this point. So we have one copy of Archfiend Eccentric, triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joy Spring, one Fossil Dino. We have one copy of the Majesty Pegasus, triple copies of Maxi. We have two copies of Nazuki with one copy of the Celestial Magician. We have one Greatest Duelist of Performa Pal, triple copies of the Scion. Uh, we have triple copies of the uh, Shinomone. One copy of the General Coral with triple copies of the Wakushi. Triple copies of Baron. Then we have one Dominator Duke. Uh, we have triple copies of the Marquise, triple copies of the Viscount. Two called by the grave, one seeker village, one terraforming, one talents. Uh, we have triple solo activation, two copies of the uh, Weissen, and two copies of the Bond Show. Then in the extra deck, we have the one copy of the Raten, one copy of the Underworld Goddess, one Apollos with one Boral Sword, one Electromite with one Dagda. We have two Beyond the Pendulum, one copy of Elf, one Gallant Granite. One Baguski with one Baron. We have one Draco Berserker, one General Grand Duke, and one copy of the Chronochasm. Then we have two copies of Didi Crow, two copies of Denko Dreka, one Arf Artifact Scythe with two Lava Gloom, two Cosmic Cyclone, triple Dark Ruler No More, one Red Reboot, and triple copies of Artifact No Fun Allowed, wrapping up your Valence deck. Next up here, we have some stun shenanigans with the time rending Morganite. Now, you guys know I'm a huge fan of this card. I think that this card definitely puts so much coolness back in the game that it's going to give a lot of people a pretty cool chance to see just what you can bring to the table with this. So, we have triple copies of the little Flucked Light. We have triple copies of Fairy Tail Luna with triple copies of Pachycephala. Then we have triple copies of Cardamias. God, I wish we could do this. We have triple copies of Dimensional Fissure. Two Desires with triple copies of Pot of Duality. We also have triple copies of the Morganite. Triple copies of Macro Cosmo. Triple copies of Solemn Judgment. We also have triple copies of Mion Force. Triple copies of Compulsory Evacuation Device with two Solemn Strike. We have one Ending Nightmare and two copies of Ring of Destruction here wrapping up 
your main deck. No side deck, or no extra deck down here. Side deck, though, we do have Triple Inspector Border. Uh, we have two copies of Alpha, the Master of Beast. We have one Jizakuru with one Gamma Seal. We have one Gadarla with one Doggeron. We have triple copies of the Interrupted Kaiju Slumber. We have triple copies of Dark Bribe here. Wrapping up your main deck. All right, next up here. Oh, you know, I didn't think that I would see a Blue Eyes deck anytime soon, but full disclosure here. I think Blue Eyes is always going to have some cool potential, all right? Like, I give this deck a lot of crap, but at the end of the day, this card is a card that uh, a lot of people actually have issues outing, and I still think, like, in terms of, like, the budget player aspect of things, this is one of those cards that is just going to be really cool to be able to summon and just punish your opponent. Now... Is this really easy to out? Unfortunately, yes. That's just kind of the downside right now of like modern era Yu-Gi-Oh! Like former boss monsters aren't really all that strong at the end of the day, but it's kind of cool to see. Also, I mean, 4K while hiding underneath a skill drain can make or break some situations, and that's that's kind of understandable. So we have one copy of the Abyss Dragon, one copy of Blue Eyes Alternative, we have one copy of the Blue Eyes Jet Dragon, we have one Magna Hut with one Sarnia, we have one Effect Veiler with one Ghost Bell, we have one Ghost Ogre with one Fenrir and one Unicorn. Then we have triple copies of Maxi, one Space Rock, two copies of Sage with Eyes of Blue, one Lubellion with two copies of the King of D, we have two copies of the White Stone of Ancients with two ripple copies of Blue Eyes White Dragon. Then we have one copy of Chaos Max, one Brainer Regained with two Call by the Grip, one Chaos Form with one two Dragon Train, one Birth, one Poly, one the Melody, two Trade In, one Talents. Uh, we have one Ultimate Fusion with one Branded Beast, one Evenly Matched, two Infinite Impermanence, and triple copies of Skill Drain here. Then we have one Almirage, one Animo with one Lingaribo. One Dragoobleon with one Photon Lord. We have one Hope Harbinger with one number 100. Then we have a Spirit Dragon, one Silver Dragon, one Ultimate Dragon, one Guardian Chimera, one Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, one Tyrant, two Dragon, and then one copy of the Blue Eyes Alternative Ultimate Dragon. Wrapping up your Blue Eyes Express list. Next up here is Mathmech with Firewall stuff. So basically, this is going to be a Code Talker deck where you know you're going to toggle through. Neo Tempest, Singularity, all of the Firewall cards giving this deck a chance to set up and do some relatively cool power plays. So we have triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joy Spring. We have triple copies of Firewall Defender. One Firewall Guardian with one Firewall Phantom. We have one Gachikiri. Two copies of Ghost Bell with one addition. We have triple copies of Circular with one Dimeter. One Multiplication with two Sigma. We have one Subtraction with two copies of Maxi. We have one Microcoder with triple copies of Parallel Exceed. We have two Cold by the Grave with one Cross Out Designator. We have one Sinet Codex, triple copies of Sinet Mining. One Sinet Rollback with one Equation. We have one Salamander Great Sanctuary. One Talents with one Conflict, one two Imperm, and one Super Factorial. Then you have the one Update Jammer, one Transcode Talker, one Splash Mates, one Balanix with your one Protect Code Talker. One Gigolone Crystal Heart, one Singularity with one Neo Tempest Terror Hertz, one Firewall, one Eat Soul with your one Inverted, one Axis Machine, one Laplace and one Alan Bershon, and one copy of the Cybers Deceive Worm. Then you have the two Lancia, two Droll, two Gamma Seal, one Dark Roller, one Feather Duster, two Lightning Storm, two Dimensional Bear, and triple evenly matched here, wrapping up this awesome list. And the last list we have here is Performer Pal Pendulum. You know, just Pendulum Magicians getting the chance to do greedy, starving, venomy things. So we have triple Ash Blossom here, a one Astrograph with triple Black Vein. We have one Chronograph with triple Double Iris, triple copies of Harmonizing. Your one Luster Pendulum with triple Maxi. We have triple Oaf Dragon with two copies of Celestial. Uh, we have one Odd Eye Synchron, triple Pendulum Magician, triple Scroll Crabat with triple Purple Poison. We have one Stargazer with one Time Gazer, triple Wisdom Eye, triple Dualist Alliance, one Star Pendulum Graph, and one Time Pendulum Graph. Then we have one Selene, one Nightmare Unicorn, one Electromite with one Beyond the Pendulum, one Apo, one Time Star, one Baguski, one Number 38, one Abyss Dweller, one Ignister, one Borrowed Savage, uh, one Baron, and triple copies of the Supreme King Dragon Starving Venom. Wrapping up your chunk of deck profiles for this week. So, a lot of things to really unpack here, but let me tell you, so many cool ideas, so many things coming across the table here. I'm loving what I'm seeing here. So guys, please, leave a comment down below, tell me what you guys think, and I will see your beautiful faces back here later in the day. You guys keep on smiling out there, all right?
patrons. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.